December 9, 2010. An explosion and fire killed three employees and injured a contractor at the AL Solutions Metal Recycling Facility in New Cumberland, West Virginia. The tragic accident heavily damaged the plant's production building and ultimately resulted in the facility permanently shutting down. The Chemical Safety Board launched an investigation and found the cause of the accident to be all too familiar, combustible dust. Preventable combustible dust explosions continue to occur, causing worker deaths and injuries. The CSB believes it is imperative for Russia to issue a comprehensive combustible dust standard for general industry with clear requirements to prevent dust fires and explosions. The accident at AL Solutions is one of nine serious combustible dust incidents investigated by the CSB since 2003. These explosions and fires caused 36 deaths and 128 injuries. These deadly explosions continue to take place even though the hazard of combustible dust and how to control it is so well known. Most solid organic materials, as well as many metals, will explode if the particles are small enough and they're dispersed in a sufficient concentration within a confined area near an ignition source. Even seemingly small amounts of accumulated combustible dust can cause catastrophic damage. At AL Solutions, scrap titanium and zirconium metal was milled and blended, creating a metal powder that was pressed into dense disks called compacts. As the metals were broken down during milling, the risk of a metal dust fire or explosion increased as the metal particles decreased in size. A metal blender used to process zirconium was having mechanical problems that had not been adequately repaired. As a result, the blender was producing heat or sparks due to metal-to-metal -metal contact. Around 1.20 p.m. on December 9, 2010, a spark or hot spot from the blender likely ignited the zirconium powder inside. The resulting flash fire lofted the metal dust particles in the blender, forming a burning metal dust cloud. The cloud ignited other combustible dust within the production building, causing a secondary explosion that ripped through the plant, killing three workers and injuring a contract employee. During our investigation, the CSB learned that the AL Solutions facility had fatal fires and explosions involving metal dust in 1995 and 2006, in addition to the 2010 explosion. Also, from 1993 until the accident in 2010, there were at least seven fires that required responses from the local fire department. Despite the history of accidents, the CSB found that AL Solutions and the prior owner of the new Cumberland facility did not use effective engineering controls for dust hazards, such as installing a dust collection system that would safely remove dusts generated during metal processing. The National Fire Protection Association Standard for Combustible Metals recommends specific practices for controlling metal dust, but AL Solutions did not voluntarily follow those guidelines, and there are no federal OSHA standards to enforce similar requirements. In its 2006 combustible dust hazard study, the CSB recommended that OSHA issue a combustible dust standard for general industry based on the current NFPA guidelines. In response, OSHA initiated a national emphasis program in 2007 to target industries with combustible dust hazards for additional inspections and enforcement. Unfortunately, OSHA didn't target the AL Solutions facility as one of the plants to be inspected. In 2009, OSHA announced that it intended to initiate rulemaking on a combustible dust standard. But five years later, OSHA has yet to develop even a proposed rule on combustible dust hazards. In a 2013 public meeting, the CSB board voted to declare OSHA's response to its combustible dust recommendations to be unacceptable. Had OSHA implemented the first CSB recommendation for a combustible dust standard in 2006, 
And if industry has followed dust requirements, many of the severe dust incidents that follow it, including AL solutions, might have been prevented. The time is now for OSHA to take faster action to prevent this tragic accident. For more information about the CSB's AL Solutions investigation, please visit csb.gov.